I think that he should be treated um, with all the rights and privileges that come with being a U.S. citizen. Um, I think especially in instances like this, it is the line is blurry between um, non-enemy combatant and enemy combatant. But I think one of the hallmarks of this country is the fact that we have such a strong judiciary and a strong process, and I think it's really important to um, uphold that, especially in these situations. The whole purpose of the law is that they have, we have to protect the rights of people, even people accused of doing awful things. So, I mean, you have to give people their Miranda rights, you have to give them a fair trial, and you have to give them a defense, all those things. Well, I am of the firm belief that, given that he's an American citizen that's been in the States for at least 10 years, that he was entitled to hear his Miranda rights. Um, I think that even if he poses some potential danger, that as an American citizen, he's entitled to remain silent. He still has the Constitution. I think that one of the misconceptions is that Miranda doesn't really give someone rights. They're rights that are there regardless. Um, the only thing is it says whether or not you can use those in court. Uh, so in my opinion, uh, if there were other public safety uh, concerns, which they, there seems to have been, um, they had plans of doing something in New York. So it was really important, I think, for the authorities and law enforcement to get a handle on the situation and realize you know, that there was no more public threat. Well, he's an American citizen. So he needs to be afforded, despite the heinous nature of the crimes that he committed, or he and his brother committed, uh, he needs to be afforded all the protections of due process that are afforded under the Constitution uh, to citizens and to other persons who are in the country. Uh, we, ought, we, we, we should make sure to, to, to maintain the presumption of his innocence uh, until he's been proven guilty.